Okay, I am the problem. I went on a date with this guy and he was like, it's getting late. Do you want to come back to my place? And I was like, sure, but I'm not going to sleep with you. Like, that's not happening. And he was like, that's totally fine. Just come over. And I was like, cool. So I go to his place. He respects my wishes. He's so nice. He cuddles me all night. And I'm like, are you gay? What? No, nigga. Accusations. These are not. Explain that to me. Like what? And like I, I he, I just wanted him to like try, and then for me to be like, no, you know what I mean? Stop it. Get some help. I wasn't gonna sleep with him. I but I just now I feel ugly. This is what. So this is just more proof of the BS that men have to suffer and go through. You literally heard this woman state that, oh, you know, this guy is great and she's interested and she wanted to come directly over to his house. And she specifically told him like, hey, you know, I can be over there. We're, you know, just don't expect to do anything. We're not going to do anything. And she sat up there and said that, you know what? He obeyed and he sat up there and, and did everything correct. It's like, cool. So I go to his place, he respects my wishes, he's so nice, he cuddles me all night, and I'm like, are you f***ing gay? Like what? And like, I, I, he, I just wanted him to like try, and then for me to be like, no, you know what I mean? He did everything correct. He didn't even try. He didn't even try to insinuate just so I can decide to, you know, just be like, no, that's okay, yada, yada, yada. And then she was like, well, because he didn't even try, now I feel ugly. Now everybody is seeing what I have seen for the last couple of years. Like I said, this has nothing to do with men. And some people like to say, oh, well, but, you know, find better women and do this and do that. No, nah, it's a lot of women that's like this. And a lot of women are very great liars. It's just the fact that a lot of women don't want to fess up and be honest that a lot of women are very great liars. This is the difference. If a man lies, we're going to get caught. If a woman lies, she's going to make sure to do everything possible in including lying in front of God <laughs> in order to deceive everybody. That's the clear cut difference. We're not going to work that hard. We're not. It's, it just, it doesn't make any sense. That's, that's far too much energy. Literally, women will expound so much energy in order to cover their tracks, in order to cover up lies, in order to deceive. So why would a man decide that he needs to do even more work than what a woman is doing in order to try to vet and do it? It, it doesn't make any sense. Because the white man... It really doesn't. Energy wise, it doesn't make any sense. It is impossible for any guy out here to literally figure out if a woman is like this. It's very difficult because a lot of women are very great at being chameleons. They can match in and be anywhere at any time or sometimes they can be everywhere at the same time. But this woman literally shows you the problem that a lot of men happen to face where a man does what he is supposed to do he abides by listens to and respects a woman and then the woman is like up oh, that's the problem you're respecting me up oh, that's the problem you're listening to me up oh, that's the problem you did everything correct and that's not what i wanted you to do i wanted you to do the opposite that part is she was dead ass serious huh <laughs> so, like where are we at right now where are we at? You're literally dealing with adult children. Like, this is what it is. You're dealing with adult children. And even when she was giving her whole explanation, you saw her slightly throwing some type of tantrums and trying to make sense of it all and, 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 and trying to make sure that she doesn't 100% put the blame directly on her. Even though when she first started the video, what did she tell everybody, class? She was like, I am the problem. I'm toxic. I'm this. I'm that. Well, if you know that, then why are you still dating? If you know you are the problem, why are you still going after men that you know are going to respect you? Why not go after the ones that's going to knock you upside the head, that's going to get you pregnant, that's going to have unprotected relations directly with you, hand you down an STD, the ones that's going to sit up there and cheat on you consistently, the one that's not going to have any type of time, the ones that don't want to have an actual relationship or marriage or, or any type of growth directly with you. Why don't you go with those guys? And you know that they're out there because more than likely they're in your circle. But oh no, you decided to sit up there and do this to the nice guy. And then 
you want to come down on him because he's the nice guy and try to make it his own. He's the problem. Wow. And women in America wonder why it is that there seems to be a lack of gentleman chivalry in nice men out here. It's because of women like this. And because of women like this and because women don't like calling out and pointing the finger at women like this so that this type of nonsense will stop. This is why you got nice guys just going elsewhere. This is why nice guys are going to other places, South America. They're going directly over to Asia. They're going to Europe. They're going to Australia. They're going to uh, uh, Africa. They're going everywhere else to look for a decent woman other than the United States. Because in the society that we have right now, this is the type of culture that is out there whenever it is that a nice, decent guy wants to potentially find a relationship. Yeah. <laughs>